Now we're doing something called make your auto hemotherapy or also known as multi ozone therapy. And as you can see, we're pulling blood out through a pressurized system that goes into a glass bottle. At the same time, it's passing through ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light will boost the immune system to help fight off any type of infection. Um, this was uh, first uh, developed by the Russians in the 1920s and even Time Magazine had it in and talking about how it, the antibacterial effects of it in the 1940s. Um, the ozone, once we put it in the, the blood here, it'll oxygenate the blood, go back in, and the body's mitochondria work at a better and higher level and more efficiently to help remove toxins as well as fight infections. Today we're doing this um, in order to fight uh, just an allergy cold and it's extremely good for stomach and uh, sinus issues. Now, um, we can do different amounts of blood, um, usually for fighting infections and colds. Doing about uh, 20 ounces of blood is the best way to go. If we just want to do, if you have something very minor, we can do less than that. Or if you have a chronic disease like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, or Lyme disease, we can do a lot more. Or for anti-aging purposes, this is great for microcirculation and making you look young and healthy. And this procedure, um, the one we're doing today, lasts about 30 minutes. We'll add vitamins on after. Um, the <coughs> high, high dose can go to about an hour and a half of the procedure time. And feelings uh, and symptoms range while we're doing this. Sometimes, um, sometimes people feel a lot of energy after it. Other times, uh, people don't really notice it, but their sleep's better and other symptoms improve. For an illness, I do find that that um, people's symptoms usually improve within 24 hours. That if there was anything that went adverse, you're, it's going to be happen more often if you're sick. Super chronic disease it does, but acute illness, you get certain inflammatory marks. Another thing that can fight infections really well are vitamins, and particularly vitamin C. Um, we have our typical, regular, what we um, and everybody usually knows is a Myers cocktail. Um, but uh, this one in particular has 25 grams of vitamin C to help fight off a, a little viral versus a allergy going on right now. But in our cocktail, we also put um, magnesium, zinc, B vitamins, so B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, uh, folic acid, <clears throat> um, selenium, uh, magnesium, and... Um, and uh, this will uh, end up acting in the body to help the body fight off whatever it may be feeling. It can help adrenals out, it can help fatigue, but in this case we're really attacking a uh, virus. And we just finished uh, ult ultraviolet with uh, multi-pass ozone. And now we're um, doing vitamins to try to uh, kill this thing in one day. But Eric, could you just tell us the symptoms before the ozone it's just treatment and after? Yeah, uh, runny nose, coughing, tired foggy head, just severe cold symptoms. And then, and then after, clear, clear vision, uh, clear breathing, couldn't, just completely different, night and day. Congestion alleviated. And did, you, really, it. did you feel anything during the treatment? It just progressively got better. Yeah. Each pass seemed to make the, the breathing even more and more open. And kind of like you told me, it was more after that you really noticed. Yeah. And, in that, and that's very common is to feel the symptoms with ozone and ultraviolet after you have the treatment. Um, now we're doing vitamins. So the vitamins, especially the magnesium and the niacin, inside the vitamin, it can open the blood vessels so it makes you feel warm. You may taste the vitamins, something like that. Um, what do you feel with the vitamins? I do. I do. I feel warmer. And I can taste it yeah. very clear. Yeah. All right, perfect. And I, I expect them to feel almost back to normal by tomorrow.